This story takes place in 1967 in a city called Chicago, the most segregated city in the US. The skyscrapers pierced the sky, but didn't even compare to the piercing noise which was the racial injustice of the time. Unfortunately, even after the passing of the Civil Rights Act in 1964, racism still thrived and this was especially visible in Chicago. However, there was one group who stood out from the rest, one who vowed to fight for full employment, decent housing and education, to fight against police brutality, to empower the black community of America once and for all. Their name was the Black Panthers. Fred Hampton was an American civil rights leader and the deputy chairman of the Black Panthers. William O'Neill was an active member of the Black Panther Party with no negative history to tell. But that was all about to change. William O'Neill was arrested for stealing a car and driving it across state lines to Michigan. Although, Roy Martin Mitchell, an agent working for the FBI, was willing to strike a devilish deal with him. He promised William money and freedom but in exchange for one thing, to give the FBI the secrets to the Black Panther Party and help the FBI destroy the Black Panther Party from the inside out. Fred Hampton's fame grew as he became a renowned and powerful figure in the Black Liberation Movement. He eventually met activist and member of the Black Panther Party, a queer in June. They fell in love and bore a child. The office was furious by the successes of Fred Hampton and desperately wanted him arrested. But Fred Hampton had done nothing wrong, so they falsely charged him for the most ridiculous claim ever. In 1968, Fred Hampton was accused of assaulting an ice cream truck driver and stealing $71 of ice cream. He instantly was thrown behind bars and abused by prison guards during his stay. When he was finally released, his arrival was celebrated. The FBI became even more furious as his successes grew, so they turned to the last resort. William O'Neill was ordered to drug Fred Hampton. So he did. In his sleep, the police raided Fred Hampton's house and shot 99 bullets. Fred Hampton was murdered. Thankfully, his fiancée, a queer and jury, survived and later gave birth to Fred Hampton Jr., who serves in the Black Panther Party to this day, where he holds the title President and Chairman of the party. William O'Neill's last appearance was on Eyes on the Prize, a documentary which explores stories from the civil rights era. In this interview, he confessed his sabotage to the Black Panther Party. Later that day, he committed suicide.